recently I made a video about XLOOKUP and many people commented that index match is faster than XLOOKUP. That got me thinking, is it really? So in this video, I'm gonna show you by testing out not one, not two, but a full 11 million lookup formulas in Excel. This one is gonna be interesting. First, let's understand the data set and the testing methodology. So here I have got a product table with 500,000 products and each product having 11 columns of extra data. And the data is maintained in a regular cell range in the products tab. On my lookup sheet, I have got 1 million product IDs randomly generated going from one cell at a time. And then for each product ID, I want to do a lookup and get all the 11 columns and print them here. That's the task. So essentially, we are going to combine product table with this transaction table by fetching all the 11 columns. And we are going to use XLOOKUP index match and VLOOKUP to do these tasks. So how am I going to measure the performance? For this, I was tempted to write my own VBA code, but I figured it will be a lot better if I use a professional grade tool. So I have downloaded the spreadsheet profiler from Fast Excel. This is an excellent tool prepared by Charles Williams on the decision models website. I highly recommend downloading this Excel add-in if you use um, kind of like work with lots of big files and often have to audit or speed up or performance tune your Excel workbooks. Charles is an Excel MVP and he is one of the most highly regarded MVPs in the space of spreadsheet optimization and working with data faster. So definitely check that one out. I have got a link for that in the video description. Um, but I use it this profiler tool and they have got some very interesting functionalities here. Uh, I can profile a workbook, profile formulas, profile worksheet. So I tried to use the profile formulas button but uh, it was kind of um, because there's a lot of formulas going on uh, for certain combinations this was hanging and taking forever so i've used another technique let's start this with the vlookup first here i have got my ids and the product table and our vlookup column numbers are mentioned on the top so that we can easily write the formula so we say vlookup lookup value is this and I'm going to lock this to column B with the dollar B3 notation. And then the table array is here. And we will just make sure that that is all absolute. And then for column index number, we will put that into the row number one like that. And then false for the last parameter. So this will tell me what is the price for the very first transaction ID. And when I move it, drag it sideways, I will get the relevant columns. Right now, my formulas are set to manual, so the formulas are not calculating until I trigger the calculation. So once we copy paste all the formulas, then I will run the calculation. That way we can calculate and measure how long it takes for, for the lookups to run. To write the index match formula, we can say index of price column. So we'll pick all of these values and making sure that this is not always locked to column C so that when I drag it sideways, it will work for other columns. And then match will pick the product ID. Now this one needs to be always on column B and lookup array needs to be on the products column as an absolute range with an exact match. So this will give you the price for this particular thing. And then when I drag it sideways, because of the way our re references are arranged, I'm gonna see the corresponding values once I enable the calculations. And then when I copy this all the way down, we will have all the millions of calculations. So control C, control V. When you have lots of data, even pasting can take a lot of time, especially when you're pasting 11 million formulas. So this is gonna take a while. One obvious way to speed up the index match formula is instead of doing the match in every index match, we do the match once and then use the index multiple times. So this is how it works. We write a single match formula to figure out what is the row number for a specific product in the data table. And then we write a bunch of match index formulas 
that just look up that particular rows column values and then return that in this fashion so this is a variation of the index match formula and because we are only doing match once this should be significantly faster than the index match formula written 11 million times so here only 1 million matches and 11 million indexes will happen another way to speed up the index match formula is once you figure out the match id instead of writing individual index functions you can write an array index function that gives you that gives excel a range of column numbers and then index will run for all of them so here is my array index function that takes the products column product data and then looks up this particular row and then returns all these columns as pointed from d to n this formula when you type it in older versions of excel you will have to press ctrl shift enter in the newer versions you just type it as it is and automatically excel will spill i did type this one as ctrl shift enter to kind of adhere to the older version of excel still i feel like internally excel might actually use the dynamic array calculation behavior to do some of this so i'm not really sure if this formula is going to be just as fast when you run it in older versions of excel but uh, let's just test this one out as well and finally we are going to try the xlookup function so here we are going to just say xlookup look up the product id and then lookup array is the product column and then the return columns are we want everything so i'm just going to pick all of these values this will ensure that excel will automatically spill the values and it will kind of expand to multiple columns uh, so instead of writing multiple xlookups we write a single xlookup that will return all the columns and close this and enter we'll get a single row let me just copy this over for one million times and then i'll tell you how long it took approximately 10 hours later okay i have the results here so the five formulas that we tested are we look up index match index match with a match id index match with the array notation and finally x lookup so i've run two kinds of tests one with the screen recorder on and one without the screen recorder this way you know i get to kind of uh, compare things with the screen recorder on we look up took 31 and half seconds 31.45 and index match almost took the same 31.45 seconds but index match with the match id column and then one id column and a bunch of indexes that was significantly faster at 10 and half seconds and when I used index match with index as an array formula, then the time came down to 7.25 seconds. But XLOOKUP, this is the really kicker. XLOOKUP took 7.06 seconds. So with my screen recording software on, XLOOKUP is the fastest function. Now when I turned off the screen recorder, I ran the tests again for the same data, same setup. And just to be clear, when I ran these tests, I didn't run them once, but I ran them a couple of times and took the lowest time. This is because every time I run the test, the timing would be different, sometimes really wildly off. Uh, so I gave the formulas the benefit of doubt. Every time, if there is a lower time, then only that is the only one that I'm reporting. So without the screen recorder on, VLOOKUP took 8.75 seconds and index match this was a bit of surprise so i had to run this test multiple times but in all of those tests index match took around 17 seconds so for those of you who are thinking we look up is slower than index match here is something to think about it could be just my computer and data and time of the day really but index match with an id column that was faster than we look up so 8.23 seconds not a lot faster but definitely faster and again this was surprising so i had to run these tests again but the timing was consistent 
So I'm guessing something else is going on that we are not familiar with. But index match with the array notation that is at 7.29 seconds. And this was really funny because this timing was actually almost same or slower than what I got with my screen recorder on. So I don't really know if uh, the screen recording software is kind of completely shut down at that point or I don't know what was going on. And Excel Cup without any other software running came up with 5.05 seconds. This is the slowest time. I ran a couple more tests and the timing was around five and a half, six seconds benchmark. So will XLOOKUP again continues to be the fastest formula if you want to do millions of lookups. I also ran a comparison of the file sizes because then we can see which formulas produce the heaviest files. And the file sizes are like this. For VLOOKUP it is 255 megabytes. Everything is in megabytes here. Index match is 270. Index match with an ID column is 338. Again, not sure, really sure how the file size went up significantly there. Index match with array notation is 256 megabytes and XLOOKUP is 209 megabytes. So again, XLOOKUP seems to have a lower file size. A quick note here though, I am using Office Insider and Office 365. So probably your outputs and your results will be significantly different if you're using a different version of Excel or a different uh, platform there. So what's the conclusion here? Well, if you are comparing XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP and index match, then obviously as per these tests, XLOOKUP is the fastest formula. It's not only the fastest one to run, it has, it produced less file size, as well as in my personal opinion, it is significantly faster to write and execute because there is no other extra parameters you need to pass and it can return an entire row of values when you do one lookup. Um, but the other important thing to keep in mind, and this is also really critical, is any function irrespective of whether you're using XLOOKUP, index match, or something else, is going to take quite a bit of time if you run it for millions of rows or millions of cells. So irrespective of which formula it is, none of them are working in less than one second kind of a thing. They're all taking five, six, 10, 20 seconds. So they're all in a way slow. And the third one, this is something not related to Excel at all, but having a powerful computer with lots of memory and extra processing power, as well as maybe some patience and a good cup of coffee is always helpful if you are running really big spreadsheets with lots of formulas. And the last thing, this is actually the most important outcome of all of these things is you should definitely try out other ways to do this job especially if you have got like a million product codes and a gajillion transaction codes and you want to combine them, you should use technologies like SQL, Power Query or Power Pivot to do this job. Here is a video that talks about how to combine two tables using Power Query. Check that one out. Bye-bye. He commented that. Yes, I commented that. And many people commented that. <laughs>